Fly POV. I'm KJ. This is J Red. And we got the homie Oso Ocean with us today. Yep, yep, yep. What's going on, bro? What's good, bro? Good to have you, man. We appreciate good you coming to be out, here. man. Appreciate it. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about Oso Ocean. Where are you from? What are you all about? How'd you get the name Oso Ocean? <laughs> well, I'm originally, I'm from San Diego, born and raised. Southeast to be exact. Um, my name comes from the area I come from. A lot of people where I'm from um, aren't too successful in it. You know, the world, you know, actual world. So I, I kind of do it for, for all of us. Um, a lot of people from where I'm from just call me Jicken, because that's actually my name. But then when I leave, when I go, you know, all around the world, people call me Ocean. You know, if you're from a certain city, like Cali, you know, you go to Georgia, they call you Cali or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people just call me Ocean, so it's stuck. Mm -hmm. So my name ended up being Ocean. So uh, you're talking about your name is Jukin. 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 Yeah. So you, I see on Twitter you always put hashtag still Jukin. Still Jukin. Yeah. yeah, still Jukin. That yeah. means just you're still you. Yeah, still Jukin. I was wondering. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> but that you just answered my question. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so your your current project is the whole nine. Mm-hmm. The whole nine. So I put this out maybe like February 2011, February January 2011. Um, I got picked up by Mitchie Slick from this tape. Well, a little bit before this tape, and he was telling me to hold on, like hold on, we gonna be ready for you to put out the tape, put out the tape. But I be, I just be so ready to go. So I just this is kind of like a a good demo of every different you know, lane I can do, you know, these are all different. None of these songs sound the same. Mm -hmm. You know, you usually mixtapes you hear, it's, it's all one category, all one sound, all basic, all the same. But this isn't how this is, this is all, every song sounds different. So you, you put this out before you met Mitchie? No, I put it out after I met Mitchie, but in the beginning, he didn't want me to put it out. You know, he wanted me to wait because in, in his eyes, you know, it's not mixed, it's not, you know, mastered, it's not nothing. But before before I knew anything about any of that, I was doing a lot of music. I didn't care about none yeah, of that stuff, yeah. you know. And he brought me around, taught me all this stuff, and now now, now I want to wait, you know. Now I don't want to put out nothing. But before, I was like, I, I ain't waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah, we putting this out, man. Put a stamp on there. <laughs> we, we dropping that. And actually, it's, it's kind of it's kind of certified classic in where I'm from. Yeah. How did, how did you hook up with uh, Mitchie? We both from Southeast, you know, and Southeast is real small. In San Diego, it's only one ghetto. Yeah. All all the ghetto people is crushing one section. You know, I mean, if you come here and you don't go to Southeast, you'll think it's all surfboards and skateboards yeah. and, <laughs> and Daisy Dukes. But no, nah, now if you go to Southeast, it's people from Southeast that's never even left Southeast, so they don't even know that it's skateboards and Daisy Dukes unless you go to the beach. A lot of people have never even left Southeast. So that's how I would hook up is. If you do music and you're from Southeast, you're gonna know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you stand out like me. <laughs> out of all the songs on this um, mixtape, which one was your favorite to make? To make? Yeah. The fa my favorite to make was MILF. Why? Because it was just uh, my CEO, uh, Gangsta E, he was there. He had one of his girls there and he was introducing me to her and, and showing. Showing her like, oh, trying to convince her that I can do music, I'm good or whatever. So she come in and she want to see what I can do. So it was like, it was like a live session, you know. She's sitting there listening to what I can do, mm -hmm. and the the song is actually like a story about everyday life in Southeast. Mm -hmm. If you listen to it, it's kind of funny. So and so she was listening to it, uh -huh. and it was you know it was just like a li it was like a live show, but it was an in studio session. It was fun. You, if you hear it, it it's it's live. Do you got some milfs on the team, or? <laughs> do you, do you, I just know a lot. Do you, do you, do you, do you, I know a lot of them. <laughs> I know a whole lot of them. It's about two thirds of milfs in Southeast. Yeah, true. Only about one third of that doesn't have kids. So you gotta gotta love them milfs, then. Gotta love them. So uh, you got a new project, the whole nine point two. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, that's you and Mitchy. Yeah, that's gonna be a collab tape. All nine songs. All my tapes is nine songs. Every, every, the whole nine. See, I never broke this down. Um, the whole nine two. It doesn't mean part two. It's actually a segment of um, the zip code where I'm from. Nine two one one three. So the, the next tape will be the whole nine two one. And then when I'm complete all the way to the nine nine two one one three, that that one probably won't have nine songs. But that'll be like my first debut tape. 
after I make it to 92113. You got a release date for that? I don't have a release date for nine, whole 9-2. Nine nah. Mm -mm. It's complete, though. Everything's done. I've already, I'm halfway done with the whole 9 -2 -1, so yeah. by the time the whole 9 -2 drops, I'll be ready to drop the next one. So I'm ahead of my time, but as far as as far as the 92-1-3, no. So I'm the, not sure at all. The whole 9-2, that one is just you and Mitchie, but mm -hmm. the whole 9-2-3, is that one going to be you and him too, or is, is it going to be um, No, no, no. The whole 9-2-1... It's just all me. It's just like this one. I put this one out just to show you what I can do. It's just, you know, mixtape. And then the whole 9-2, it's all original music. It's, it's everything the way, you know, he, he would have liked to do it. So I set it up. I did a lot of songs since it was with him. I did a lot of songs to get the best music out of him because you wouldn't, from the music, the music I make and the music he make, you would never expect for us to collab, you know, do this type of music, especially for a whole tape. So... Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of like made a lot of music around his sound, you know, to make the best music we can make. And we got some good features on there. You know, we got a few features. I don't want to speak on too many, but we got some good features. It's a good, it's a good album. I can't wait. Yeah, me too. That's actually one of the names of the song on there. I can't wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to talk about Twitter because I was telling you earlier that I was right. like looking through your Twitter. <laughs> you know me. And I saw like a hot new hip hop. You got kind of mad. Why? Like, what it made, yeah, I would it go made there. me so upset because I have just put out a song. Me and my friend right here, Eddie Mack, this is his tape, you know, label mate, Manage Mob. Uh, we put out a song like the day before, just randomly, just mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, it was an instrumental Joey Badass and um, Capital Steve Survival Tactics and mm -hmm. Capital Steve's RIP. So I, I just wanted to do a, a, a song. To the to the beat, and we put it up. It was up for one day, and then they took it off the the site due to a uh, copyright. But it's like it's just an instrumental. It's no sample. Yeah. It's no hook on it. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Usually when they do that, if if it's for promotional use only, it's it just yeah, it's all matter. good. They leave yeah. it up. It's YouTube. They leave it up on any site, but they took it down. It kind of made me a little mad because I liked the song, but it's 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 up on um, SoundCloud and a couple of other sites yeah. still. Because oh, I saw your good. tweet, too, about how Lil Wayne does that and his stuff never gets... Right, like, he do it down. on... The, <laughs> yeah, like you know. Everybody. Yeah. Like, why don't I take mine now? Yeah. Who am I? Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm somebody, right? <laughs> take mine now. Hey, they hating. Hey. So, you're doing something right. Right. So, you, um, you're, you're on Young Kind? Young what Kind. Up? It's like a... It's a branch of, um, of Wrong Kind. So, Wrong Kind music... It's like West Coast gangster hip hop, you know? Mm -hmm. Strictly, strictly West Coast gangster hip hop. If you ever listen to it, you'll know exactly what I mean. And the young kind, we're more like the new West Coast, you know, hip hop. So it's, 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 just, it's just not tying it to the same thing, not having the same name. And we're all young, it's all the youth. So mm -hmm. we just gave it a different name, the young kind, wrong kind. But because the, the wrong kind, they're still doing music. They're still doing the same music they've been doing. They're, they're, they're not changing. It's, if, if, you're into their, if you're into West Coast gangster hip hop, wrong kind music is the one of the biggest underground hip hop music on, of California. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. And wrong kind is everywhere. It's not just California yeah. either. You can type that in, wrong kind is everywhere on Google and you will see. Wrong kinds is literally everywhere. So are, are you like the face of Young Kind? Are you gonna be the face? I wouldn't say I'm the face of it, but you know that's how it's seeming lately. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't say I'm the face, but not nah, um, really. My label mates from Young Kind, they really don't have any music out because yeah. a lot of these guys they're not rappers really. You know what I mean? They they just doing music. Yeah. But so I, I'm the one who's been doing music for so long. There's a couple others that have been doing music, like Lil Mitchie Slick. He's been doing music for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I have another label mate, um, Steph to Die For. He he hasn't been doing music too long, but his music is you will be impressed if you heard some yeah. of his music because I heard him, yeah. yeah, he hasn't been doing music too long, but he sounds better than a lot of people that you might have heard. Uh, we have a girl artist named Juju. It's kind of a crazy story with her. I met her at Lincoln High School, and um, we became friends. I told her, if, if you're going to be my friend, you got to make a rap. You got to make a rap. And it was a Friday. I was like, you got to bring it back on Monday. She, 
on Monday, she came to school with a rap, and I promise you, it did not sound like this was her first rap that she ever made. Mm -hmm. It really was the, one of the best raps right. I ever heard Juju. from a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jaleesia, Juju. Does she yeah. have music out? Or? She has a couple songs out, but I have a couple songs in my email that's not out, and when those songs come out, you will see the difference. Yeah. But she, I, right now, that you know, they're, they're running her um, instrumental on the radio right now. As far as San Diego radio goes, they don't play. Oh. They it, don't play hip hop. They don't play our music. Yeah, but we're trying to we're trying to formulate it. And we're trying to switch it up and, and push harder and get it to play music. But they're not they're not really agreeing with us all the way. But we're getting there. Yeah, industry. Dami mm -hmm. Young was talking about that. Um, they're playing his instrumental. Why, why are they only playing instrumentals? Because it, it, I don't know. It's the hip hop they don't want too much. Really? But if we can get them um, familiar with the instrumental, that that's enough for the city because the city knows the music. You know, the city yeah. listens to hip hop. Yeah. So it's, if you hear the instrumental, you'll know where it comes from. Yeah. But they're really just not playing too much of hip hop as far as locals go. Is it is it um, only like from a certain time, like at night, or is it like during the day, or? Um, Raymond Raymond T. That's the oh, that's yeah, the that's DJ. Um, yeah, that's the that's the um, radio announcer. He, he usually plays, he's the most connected with the San Diego hip hop artist, so we salute, Raymond. radio station. Salute. Else. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, so uh, tell us about your shows, man. How you? Oh, man, I haven't, shows? I haven't done a show in quite a while because I've been promoting this for so long. I'm so ready to promote my new music. I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to drop my my next tape, so I'm, I'm going show crazy. Soon as soon as it drop, I'm ready for all my shows. As of now, I don't have no shows lined up because I, I've, I'm, I've been promoting this for so long, I'm just ready to do do more yeah. promoting for other music, so it's kind of redundant to do more shows for this, but um, whenever Mitchie Slick has a tour, of course, I'm his artist, so I, I just go on tour with him, open up with him, you know, I got songs with him. Of course, the whole 9-2 is completely with him, so we do a couple songs there. And that's how tours been going for me lately. How, how was Just that practice. Been, on the, been on the road yeah. with him? Way bigger and better than the shows I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot bigger and better. It's a lot different when it's with Mitchie Slick or if I'm with Strong Arm Steady, you know, Phil Agony mm -hmm. and um, Crying Don. Whenever Definitely, I'm with yeah. them, it's, it's, just, it's huge. You know what I mean? They're like West Coast hip hopped out as far got, as LA you goes. You got a favorite, favorite city that you that you love? To visit? Oh, yeah. yeah. To or, visit or, or to perform it? Um, San Diego. Nah, it ain't. San mean, Diego, that's out, hometown. Of course, outside, that just goes without saying. San Diego, though. Visiting? Uh, I got two favorite cities, visiting wise. I love Atlanta. You know what I mean? From being from San Diego, it's, it's, it's not it's not as cultural as Atlanta. When you yeah. go out to Atlanta, it's it's, you see you see blacks in a bank in a <laughs> everywhere. They're everywhere. I feel like I'm in Africa. I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm home or something. But then I also love Portland though. Oh, Oregon. Portland. They show us so much love there. I love Portland. We go there all the time. I love going to Portland. Shout out to Portland. Shout out Portland, my guys. Unthank and you know Woodland and all my homies from Portland. Shout out. All right, we're gonna play a little game. It's fill in the blanks, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna say something and just fill it in. If I wasn't a rapper, I would be? I don't know, because I was just asking myself that question the other day, <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how to do nothing. I was like, why do I not know how to do nothing but rap? Like, if I'm not going to the studio or nothing like that, I just really don't have nothing to do. I don't know what I would be, honestly. I need to go to school or something. <laughs> All right, the last album I bought was? Good Kid, Max City, October 22nd of the last year. It was a great album. People would be surprised to know that. That I actually didn't get stabbed from this scar. Um, I got hit by a car when I was like in the fourth grade. Oh my God. Yeah, and I'm scarred for life. So that's probably going to be an album title of mine later in life one scar day. For probably life. Scar for life. <laughs> the um, real Scarface. <laughs> Ocean my, Montana. My dream collaboration would be with. Dream collaboration? Mm -hmm. Dream collaboration. Anyone you want to work with really bad or? Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Mm -hmm. Dream collaboration. Yo, I like Jay-Z. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. His whole story. Like, how did he actually keep it so real the whole time? Yeah. And to this day, he's, the, he's like, everybody will buy his album and he's like 40. <laughs> 
Like, like to this day. Yeah. How is he killing right now yeah. like that? But that's how it should be, though, because, like, rock stars, they, they can, yeah. you know, yeah, they can tour old. But right. They, like, when rap. When but you, hip-hop when has, old, yeah. yeah it's, so he's, like, the first person to be able to do that. He's, you know, yeah. setting a new standard, yeah. new did rules. You, you, you I also like Kanye, album? too. Yeah, Magna yeah. Carta, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It hasn't been an album that I haven't really liked. That's good. Okay, last question. In five years, I see myself... Laying at that one, that one hotel room, all the way at the top of the palms, that got the basketball court in, that super huge, just chilling with like, he really thought with, about this. with 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 all types of women Oof. and my friends that I grew up with, nobody really else, and like a, no new friends, no in like a studio in there, like just chilling, feeling free. Mhm, I feel it. I can imagine that in my head. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just so, seen Rick Ross in that suite, man. I got to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Are people treating you different from your hood? Now that you're they're like, they're not treating me different, but I, I be, I just, they, I hear different things about me. Yeah. But when I get there, it's not. They don't treat me different. It's the same. You know what I mean? But when I'm gone, I just, I just, I be hearing weird stuff. But it's never like that when I'm home. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's like that for everybody. So. Yeah, I just feel like I'm doing what's right. Yep. Is it uh, any new music out there that's inspiring you, or anything new that you? you no, know, I like me so much. Like I love <laughs> more, me, whenever oh, I got oh, a new oh, song, I just love my new song. Like the song I just put out the other day, it just made me so mad when they took it off. Like I just love anything that I do that's new. Mm -hmm. By the time it's three weeks old, I, I just don't like it no more, and I want to do something else. You're over it. That's yeah. why I haven't been pro just promoting this. You know what I mean? As I should be, because it's actually great. You know, I should still be doing shows, but I'm just so in love with my new music, the way I sound when mm -hmm. it's new. That's Good answer. Yeah. It's the good truth, answer. though. I'm not even. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Well, do you? Uh, would you prefer to go major or stay indie? I want to stay independent, but I sure want to live major. You know what That's I mean? Like people yeah. like Macklemore. How does he do it? You know. Yeah. Uh, Wiz Khalifa did it pretty. Mac Wiz Miller. Khalifa did it. Mac Miller. Yeah. I want. I want. I want to go that lane. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is currency independent? Yeah. Currency right. man. Like yeah. this is people doing it. I want to be right, right there with them. You know what yeah. I mean? All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody your um, information: Twitter, Instagram. Everything Oso Oceans. Capital O S O. Capital O C E A N. That's Twitter. Uh, Instagram. SoundCloud, I gotta remember my password, I gotta get back in there. Hot New Hip Hop, even though they did me, still shout out, still love. Uh, Hot New Hip Hop, Oh So Ocean, and yeah. Right. Where, where can me. they find this tape? I know you're not really promoting it. Oh, uh, you can find, oh no, I'm promoting it, bro. I'm promoting still. it, still heavy, I'm promoting it. But I just have, I'm just not excited as I was before, you know, because I'm yeah. excited about my new music. It's, it's still a nice tape, though. Yeah, I'm yeah. so excited about it. Because like I said, the whole 9-2 is complete. Mm -hmm. I'm already started, and it's not out. I'm already started on the whole 9-2-1, halfway done with that. So I'm so ahead of stuff. I'm, like, I haven't even, I'm not even listening to this. But it's great, and it's out still. And you can still go get it right now. It's on live mixtapes. It's on Nat Piff. It's on Hot New Hip Hop. Just, just type it in. Also, Ocean or the whole nine, it'll pop up. It's on, it's on quite a lot of sites. Definitely, man. We're going to mm -hmm. be uh, checking for your new, yeah. new tape, man. Mm -hmm. You might have to come back. For sure, I'm yeah. coming back. I like this spot. It's right down the street. I never even knew about this. <laughs> uh, I'm that's definitely going to be back. That's what everybody said. I'm going to come back with the whole mob next time, though. <laughs> if that's cool, I'm going to bring the whole mob. You know, they could just stand back there and do backflips and stuff. You know what I mean? The yeah, whole background, mob. Background dancers. Put on. All righty. Uh, Fly PLV with Also Ocean. Bye. Mob.